Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Mike the Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Physics Body Editor in order to create custom collision data for use in Game Salad. Okay, so we're going to open up our Physics Body Editor um, download folder here, and you'll notice that it is a .jar file, a jar file, and um, this is basically a JavaScript runtime file. So you're going to install um, JavaScript on your machine if you don't already have it and it works for Windows, Mac, all that good stuff. So um, you'll simply install that or make sure it's installed and then you'll be able to double click on any jar file and run it from your desktop. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to open up this jar file and then we'll see the physics body editor open up right here. All right. So I'm not sure if I have the latest one but um, yeah it's 2.9.2 .2 and it looks like the latest version. So what we're going to do first, and it seems kind of counterproductive, usually you save a file after it's um, created and after you're done working on it, but we're actually going to have to start the configuration from uh, by creating a new file. So we're going to go to New Project, and then we're going to go to our desktop, just so we remember where it is, and we're going to name this rock.json. Now I'm naming it rock because I already know that I want to edit um, a rock graphic that I have for a tutorial that we're going to work on in, um, in Game Salad. But I'm naming it .json because that's the type of file that that Game Salad looks for for collision data. So we're gonna we're gonna leave that .json and hit save. So then we can go to um, new model right down here under rigid bodies because dynamic objects not only aren't supported by Game Solid, but they're not actually built in a physics body editor yet. They may in a future version, but because it's not supported in Game Solid, we just skip over that. So we'll go to our rigid bodies and hit new. And then you'll name this rock because, um, again, that's the graphic that we're going to edit. And we'll create a body from image. Now we can look for the image that we're going to use. And for me, I'm going to use a tappy plane graphic in the PNG or Portable Network Graphics folder. And um, this is from Kenny.nl. Kenny makes really great um, royalty free graphics that you can use for your games and prototypes. And that um, website is K E N N E Y. Dot NL, and he just has a ton of great resources. So I'm going to use this um, ground, or actually rock grass um, sprite, and it loaded up. It's going to be slightly transparent, so you can see um, kind of what you're working with. And um, the right mouse button will move the object around. So if I right click and hold, um, it'll move it around. The middle mouse button zooms in and out, so you can. Um, be a little more precise if you need to zoom in and then um, the left mouse button when you click it will actually create uh, different points for your physical body so um, I like to start on the bottom left hand corner and I'll click once and let go and then you just move your mouse wherever you want it to go and you'll see this line follow your mouse around so we'll just create a shape that goes around the shape of our sprite so we want to be pretty precise because that's the whole reason for creating a collision shape is we want it to precise more precise than a circle or a square at least and then once we have something pretty close you'll notice that when you move your mouse over um, this final dot to close it the dot turns blue so just go ahead and let it turn blue and then click and you'll see these vertices come out in the center turning it into a full polygon or physics object um, that we can use in our game so then what we're going to do is we're just going to go up here and hit save and save successfully done. You'll see it in our desktop now, rock.json. And we can even test this if we want by clicking this third little um, menu icon up here. And then we can actually uh, draw little um, physics balls to see if if they react how they're supposed to be on this object, which it looks like they are. So we can close this now and we'll open up Game Salad. So that's pretty much all you have to do to create a physics body um, in physics body editor. It's pretty simple. You just create the new project, import your graphics, and then draw your physics body. So now let's go ahead and import the graphic. So we'll go to our flappy bird or flappy plane or tappy plane, whatever you want to call it, tappy plane graphic. And we'll go into our rock grass because that's the one that we worked with. And let's just create an object real quick. We'll drag it in. I created an actor. Let's rename it Rock Grass because there's a little bit of grass on it. And we'll open it up in the actor attributes. So if we scroll down on our actor that we just created, 
we'll see physics, right? And if you hit that little down arrow with phy with physics, <laughs> excuse me, you can select the collision shape. And the default collision shape is rectangle, which we can't use here because since it's a triangle, when it creates that collision shape around it, the invisible corners will actually still um, create an overlap or collision. And then with circle, it'll create an oval, which might work for the top because it'll kind of cut out some of those edges, but the bottom is not going to properly um, uh, work because it's going to have, again, it's going to cut off the edges, but in this case, we want it to have those edges. So we're going to use custom. Now this is going to bring up a, a little warning or a dialogue prompt, I should say, that will tell you more about why um, it's not yet built into Game Solid, or at least that you have to use a third-party tool for now to create collision data. We can just skip all this and go to select collision data because we've already made ours. So we'll hit select, and then we'll just look for our data, which is on our desktop. So we'll go to rock.json, hit open, and collision data has been imported. So now the collision data is ready to use in Game Salad, and it'll properly register hits um, in your game. So um, that's it. Pretty simple. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope this helped. All right, have a good day. Peace.